Wir sind uns jedenfalls einig, es muss mehr humanitäre Hilfe nach Gaza gelangen. Und das ist auch unsere klare Aufforderung an Israel, dass jedes Recht hat, sich selbst gegen die Hamas zu verteidigen. Eine Bodenoffensive auf Rafa halten wir nicht für richtig. Ein wichtiger Schritt wäre jetzt auch ein Waffenstillstand, der länger anhält. Am besten noch während des Ramadans. We do agree cessation of hostilities, immediate ceasefire and uh, accord uh, humanitarian assistance to the people of uh, Palestine, particularly in Gaza. Of course, um, we, we do uh, acknowledge the concerns uh, what happened you know, on 7th of October, but we also appeal to the Europeans and Germany in particular to take note of the fact that uh, There have been four decades of atrocities, plunder, and dispossession of Palestinians. So let us then move forward. And I agree with what the uh, Chancellor has said on the final uh, two-state solution to ensure there's peace for both countries and to work uh, in concert to ensure that there is economic development and progress for the people in the area. Um, we also have taken a position vis-à-vis -vis the U war in Ukraine against unequivocal stance against uh, aggression and conquest of any country, and that includes Russian aggression in Ukraine, and seek a peaceful resolution to the conflict because it is uh, impacting and ramifications in terms of uh, trade and economic development, even as far as Asia. Thank you, Prime Minister. Um, your government supports Hamas and uh, has, uh, unlike Western countries, um, not classified the attack on Israel on October 7 as a terrorist attack. You yourself said in November that Hamas is not a terror organization. Um, do you stick to this assessment and don't you fear uh, that this position on Hamas can damage uh, the relations to countries like Germany? Well, uh, thank you. Um, we, our foreign policy position is consistent. We do not support or we oppose colonialism or apartheid or ethnic cleansing or dispossession of any country, be it in Ukraine or in Gaza. We cannot erase 40 years of atrocities and dispossession, and which have resulted in reaction and anger from uh, the societies or the people concerned. Now, our relations with Hamas is the political wing of Hamas. And I make no uh, apologies about it. And that engagement has helped uh, to at least to bring about the concerns, including about hostages. We do not have any connection with uh, any military uh, outfit or wing. I've clarified this to many of my European colleagues in the United States and many countries. Although we may have some differences, but uh, as we have recognized the Australian National Congress long before the Europeans or the Americans do recognize because I, I, we believe that the apartheid policy must be opposed. So consistent with that policy, we have taken that position that we must understand the fundamental root cause of the problem that people, their houses, their belongings, their dignity cannot be plundered and if we can resolve they will resolve it. Do I then condone killings of children and women? No, I don't. By any party, or by any quarters. And that is consistent policy. But what I reject strongly is this uh, narrative, this obsession, as if the entire problem begins and ends with the 7th of October. It did not begin with the 7th of October and did not end with 7th of October. It began 40 de four decades before that, and it is continuing daily. But having said that, my conclusion, as I've said to Chancellor, is this. We move on. We have a problem right now. Do we discuss history? 
we discuss past atrocities, or we discuss how to resolve the problem now. The problem now means cessation of hostilities, stop the killings now, and then the entire international community, Germany, Malaysia, and the neighbors, make sure that there's no more violence perpetrated by any group against, any, against the Muslims or Jews or Christians. They must be allowed to live in peace. Thank you. Prime Minister, you are suggesting to leave history behind, but for the Israeli hostages, it's October the 7th is still the present, and for their relatives as well. So based on the conversations you're having with the um, political leadership of Hamas, um, what is the nature of your talks, and how hopeful are you that they will be released soon? Also, could you please um, tell us whether you see what happened on October 7th and the fact that these hostages are still being held as an act of terrorism. And Chancellor Schultz, you recently met the Pope who caused great controversy over the weekend with his comments about hissing a white flag, which was understood uh, by Ukraine as um, the foreign minister put it, a, a behavior he accuses the church of now having um, as it did at the beginning of the 20th century, so insinuating its non-action over Nazi Germany. What is your assessment, your reaction to the comments of the Pope? Thank you. I've said, um, I've stated my case that atrocities for decades cannot be erased. Um, and, and uh, you cannot find a solution by, back, by, by getting so um, uh, one-sided in terms of looking only at one particular issue and erase 60 years of atrocities. The solution is not just releasing the hostages. I agree with release hostages, but that's not the solution. We, have a, we are a small player. I, I don't have this excellent... Uh, relations with Hamas, but I do. And I have told the Chancellor, yes, yes, I did express my concern that those hostages must be released. But then, can you say, is that all, full stop, period? What about the settlements? What about the behavior of the, of, of the settlers now, continues daily? What about the dispossession, their land, their rights, their dignity, their men, their women, their children? Are these of no concern? Where have we thrown our humanity? Why this hypocrisy? Why this selective and ambivalent attitude towards one race and one another? Is it because they are colored or they are different religion? These questions are raised because there's a lack of constancy. If you ask me, yes, the solution? Yes, two-state solution. Yes, recognize the, of, the rights of every single individual, be it a Muslim or a Jew or a Christian. I make no means about it. But I, of course, cannot accept the fact that when you uh, discuss issues, we only confine to one particular incident and one victim, forgetting the uh, thousands and thousands of thousands of victims from the Nakba of 1947-1948. Where, where, is history irrelevant? Is humanity irrelevant? Is, there, is, is compassion irrelevant? I mean, that's my, my contention. Do I then support any form of atrocity against anybody? No. Do I believe the hostages should be kept? No. But to, to use the narrative only in one particular issue, it's not going to be a solution. You may satisfy some pockets of Muslims or Christians or Germans or Malaysians, but there's not and will not be able to resolve unless we are seen to be just and find an amicable resolution that is fair and just. Thank you. Thank you. Not easy. <laughs>